lost today. My God is a good God today. I feel pretty good. If nobody else can celebrate Jesus today, I can. Amen. If nobody else has anything else to be thankful for, I do. Amen. We're going to end our series today. On first Sunday, second Sunday, and today is the third Sunday, we've been talking about a season of multiplication. Tell your neighbor, a season of multiplication. Come on, y'all are like y'all scared to talk to them. Talk to them and say, a season of multiplication. Amen. For the first command that God gave Adam and Eve, he said, be fruitful and multiply. Amen. That was the first. Now, 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 the first, the first charge that he gave Adam and Eve, he said, now don't bother that tree of good and evil. Amen. Amen. There's a difference between a charge and an instruction. Amen. But the first instruction he gave them, he said, be fruitful and multiply. And we started out talking about it's our season to multiply. On last week, we talked about it's mating season. It is important for us to hook up with people that are going in the same direction that we are going. Amen, somebody. It is now important that we understand that the friends that we have in our life, they need to be equally yoked with us as well. Amen, somebody. Amen. I, I'm not at a funeral. I need y'all to talk to me. I need y'all to talk to me. Amen. So today we're going to look at a serious scripture and it jumped out at me. If you have your Bibles, turn to 1 Peter, the second chapter. 1 Peter, the second chapter. And I believe today some of us are going to understand why we are under constant attack from the enemy. Amen. Amen. First Peter, the second chapter. Amen. I need us to stand for the reading of God's word. Amen. I can't say this is the only exercise that I get now because I exercise a little bit more. Amen. But for some of us, this is all exercise we're going to get. Amen. <clears throat> But look at this. Look at this serious, serious scripture. I want you to look at it. 1 Peter 2. Verse 9 says this, Mother Eloise. It says, But ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, and holy nation. A peculiar people that ye should show forth the praises of him who have called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Ms. Ben, I think I'm going to read that again because some of y'all just missed that and y'all let that flew right across your head. It says that you are a chosen generation. Tell your neighbor, I'm a chosen generation. Um, that neighbor's not going to talk to you. Tell him, say, I've been chosen by God. And tell that other neighbor, say, I am a royal priesthood. Now, what you got to understand, you're supposed to be able to look like a king, act like a queen. Amen, somebody. Amen. You're supposed to be able to walk with your head held high even when you're dealing with a down situation. Anybody know what I'm talking about? Why? Because I'm a child of the king and I am of a royal house and the last time I checked in the royal house I got everything that I need. I wish somebody would go there with me. 
Listen what verse 10 says. It says, which in time past were not a people. In other words, I haven't always been who I am right now. Okay, some of y'all been saved all of your life. Uh, but do I have any real people in the house that are say that I know that I've not been the best person all of my life? And I have not walked the way that I'm walking right now. But God looked beyond my faults and he met me right there at my knees. So that's why when I come to church, I don't look at people funny. I wish I had some help in the house. Um, um, it say which in times past were not a people, but now the people of God. Um, Mother Eloise, I once was lost, but now I'm fine, blind, but now I see. Which had not obtained mercy, but now I obtain the mercy. I want you to look at your neighbor. I want you to look at your neighbor and say good morning to him. Speak to him. Say good morning. Yeah, greet him. Say good morning. Good morning. It's good to see you. But um, the subject is entitled. Uh-uh, that's weak. That's weak. Say the subject is entitled. I am an endangered species. Give God a head clap of praise as you sit down. I am an endangered species. My brothers and my sisters, the definition of an endangered species is a population that is endangered of becoming extinct. Endangered species are at risk, Miss Betty, of not being around much longer. This means that they were no longer exist upon this planet that we call Earth. Um, it is estimated that 40% of the Earth species are endangered. It is important that steps are taken to preserve these species as they are all important to our ecosystem. Um, my brothers and my sisters, I believe that it's safe to say that people that come to church and are a little bit unique are now upon the endangered species list. The reason being they don't think like normal people. They don't dress like normal people. They don't have the mind frame that business as usual. Do I have any unique people in this house? They don't know how um, run to believe God for a natural blessing, but they believe God for the supernatural. Do I have anybody in this house that say, I serve a God Mary. I don't serve a God that, get, that specializes in small things, but I serve a God that specializes in big things. Is there anybody in this house that say, I believe God for the impossible? Is there anybody in here that say, I know the God that I serve, he is able to do anything that I need. Uh, my brothers and my sisters, one of the reasons why um, I am a peculiar person is because when people look at me, they cannot figure me out. Do I have any peculiar people in the house? When they look at me, they say it's just something about that person. And what you got to understand, the reason why they cannot figure me out is because God won't let everybody get close enough to you to figure you out. I wish I could preach to some real people in here because if people was able to figure you out, a lot of your dreams would be shot down. I wish I had some help in here. If people was able to figure you out, a lot of your visions would be cast aside. But I thank God in this season of multiplication, he's hooking me up with somebody 
exact picture this morning. Yeah, my brothers and my sisters, I was doing some studying, uh, Dick and Ron, I was doing some studying, and there are 1.5 million species uh, on the planet, but 496 uh, are endangered. Oh, my sister Al, I need y'all to follow me through here. Um, there are 1.5 million species on the planet, but 496 are always endangered, or they are threatened. In other words, in spite of all of the other species, there are only 400 that are always under attack. Oh God, I wish I had somebody that could follow me right now. Let me preach you here this morning. Yeah, 
Now, so watch this. Watch this. So here in 2013, God knew that the people that, that the God knew that the people that had a new way of worshiping Him would become an endangered species. Okay, okay. Um, people that don't dress like the status quo are, are automatic outcasts. Is there anybody up in here that know that you are an outcast? Oh, come on, tell your neighbor, say, I know that I'm an outcast. Because when they look at my history, my history lets them know that I'm not supposed to be sitting in church right now. Do I have any real folk in here that know what I'm talking about? If you did a resume check on me, all you will see is busted and disgusted. And when some folk come to church and look at my face, first day they say, what you doing sitting in here? The same reason you sitting in here. They give God just a little bit of praise. Because the same God that delivered you is the same God that delivered me. The same God that made a way for you is the same God that made a way for me. The same God that opened up doors for you is the same God that opened up doors for me. And if you can praise him, why can't I? Ah, shucks in here. Yeah, you got to understand. The reason why you are an endangered species is because the devil has seen the blueprint to your life. Uh-oh. I think I want to say that again. The reason why the enemy want to kill you and scandalize you and bow your name and put faults in you is because he's seen the plan to your life. Where you are going, and he knows the impact that you're going to have on people. I think Chuck, this word is just for you today. You got to understand the enemy don't want to see you doing what you're doing. The enemy always want to deny you of where you come from, but what you got to do is remind the enemy of where. I wish I had some help a bit yet. Yeah, they used to be me. But I'm not worried about that story anymore. But won't you flip over to chapter 10 and see where God is taking me. He's taking me above where I've been. Jesus, okay. Watch this. Um, the animal on the top endangered species list in Asia is called the doe. Right. D-H-O-L-E. The doe. Uh, it is the most endangered species in Asia. It is near extinction. The doe is from the canine family as a fox. Um, um, watch this. It's a mixture of a fox, a wolf, and a dog. Okay, I'm gonna say that again. Uh, it's a mixture of a fox, a wolf, and a dog. Now, I, I need to park right here just for about 30 seconds. Um, I need y'all to understand something about a dog. Um, when you have a dog, especially a house dog, a house dog, they, what they do is before a visitor can come to your house, they smell the visitor as they're on their way. Okay, y'all missed that. Um, y'all missed that. Um, um, before the visitor can actually walk into your door and knock on the door, the dog smells them and they may begin to bark. Okay, y'all y'all missed that. Uh, y'all missed that. Um, not only do they smell the visitor, but they can hear the car as it's coming down the street, and they know that it's a visitor for you. Okay. Can I come back and get y'all? Some of us need to have a dog mentality. We ought to be able to smell the blessing and hear the blessing before it. Okay, y'all just missed that. Do I have anybody in this house that say I can smell a blessing that's coming my way? I can hear a 
morning. Um, um, I'm not talking to passive people in here this morning. Um, the reason why the enemy has a bullseye on your back is because number one, he knows that you are just like a bull. Do I have any bulls up in here that say I'm tenacious, I'm fearless, and I'm aggressive? Whatever God got for me, I'm not going to wait for it to come to me. Oh, wait a minute. See, some of y'all still sit down waiting for it to come to you. But I need about 25 of y'all that don't mind giving God just a little bit of praise. That don't mind standing up and say, I'm not going to wait for the blessing to come to me. But I won't for the blessing. I ain't got time to wait for the blessing. I wish I had some help with you. Um, 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 watch this, watch this. You got to understand that a dog is aggressive. Y'all please be seated. A dog is aggressive. And one thing you got to understand where the enemy is killing us is when God starts to bless us, we become cowards. I wish I had some help in here. When God put us out on center stage, we forget about where we come from. We forget about hooking somebody else up with the same hookup so we can bring everybody else up. Anybody know what I'm talking about in here? But you got to understand, I need somebody in this house that don't mind saying that I don't mind serving God because I know what God can do and I know what he has done what he's getting ready to do. Is there anybody up in here got a get ready spirit in here? Is there anybody up in here got a get ready spirit in here? Get ready to see what God is doing. Get ready to see my blessing. Get ready to see my miracle. Get ready to see it come out. Because I've been down for too long. In the shape that I'm in. So watch this. Watch this. Oh, what the enemy does. I'm going to finish this series today. I got to finish it. I got to move on. Uh, watch this. You got to understand that the enemy wants us to be shy. Oh, y'all don't want to hear that. Um, when God has given you a vision, and just because it didn't happen right then, the enemy wants you to think that you are a failure. Uh, the enemy wants you to think that just because it didn't come through the first time, it's not going to come through the next time. Okay, I wish I had some real people in this house. <laughs> but I need somebody in here that say, my heart don't pump Kool-Aid. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I'm not scared of the entity called failure. <laughs> Because see, sometimes you gotta thank God for the doors that's been closed in your face. Okay, y'all. You can't walk through every door that's been open. But sometimes you just gotta say thank God for the closed door. Because if I have went behind that door, I may not have been able to walk back out of that door. But because that door was closed, maybe it's time for me to move on to the next door. And if that door closed, I'm move on to the next door. And if that door closed, You get fifteen hundred dollars. 
not per snake, but who catch the most. And whoever catches the largest one, get a thousand dollars. Okay, now I need y'all to watch this. What happened is, they say that the reason why the Burmese python came about was there was an exotic snake dealer that brought a snake from another country. And that snake made it with another snake. Okay, I need y'all to follow me. I'm going somewhere. I'm going somewhere. It's deep now. That exotic snake made it with another snake. And when they hooked up, they started producing snakes that were bigger than the mother and the father. Okay, y'all missed that. Y'all missed that, okay? So what happened is, when they started reproducing, they started producing so much until it was out of control. And because it's out of control, America down in South Florida is saying, we got to do something to kill these snakes. If not, they're going to kill us, okay? Y'all missed that now. Let me come back and get y'all. The Understand that when you came to church, you hooked up with somebody that was a little bit different than you. Okay, y'all miss that. And when y'all hooked up, your dream and their dream became bigger than the devil's dream. And the devil is saying, I got to kill all of these pythons, though they gonna take over my world. Okay, y'all miss that in here. Yeah, you got to understand. Watch this. Number two, the 
characteristic of a bald eagle is they know how to fly while carrying stuff. Okay, <laughs> y'all miss that. <laughs> Uh, now, the reason why they're hating on the eagle, number one, I ain't got to flap my wings uh, to fly higher, and while I'm flying, I'm carrying stuff too? Oh, man. Uh, is there anybody in here that say, I got the eagle mentality out of all of the hell that I'm going through right now? I'm flying, and I'm still carrying stuff. Uh, is there anybody up in here say, out of all of the haters that's hating on me? still flying and I'm carrying people. I'm carrying weight. Is there anybody in here say, I got a big eagle in here? Because I know that the Lord has anointed me to carry this stuff and he won't put more on me than I can. Oh, God, I gotta get out of here. Gotta get out of here, Blake. I gotta get out of here. Gotta get out of here. So, so, so watch this. While I'm flying, number one, I'm flying and I ain't flapping my wing. Number two, I'm flying and I'm carrying stuff. I'm carrying stuff while other people gotta stop and deal with stuff. Is there anybody in here saying, I just keep on moving because I know that if I stop, whatever I'm dealing with will overtake me. Am I talking to some inner people, some real people in here that say the reason why I keep it moving 100% because if I stop, I know the enemy going to kill me. If I stop, I know I'm not playing. We'll be messed up, but I got to keep on moving and don't stop. your situation, they see you carrying it, and they can't carry theirs. Y'all miss what I just said. I, 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 I'm not going to show you going to tell it, boy. The reason why they hate on you is because they look at you carrying all of your baggage, carrying all of your mess, carrying all of your stuff, and they She all of that. She think all of this. I am because God gave me a ability that you ain't got. I gotta get out here. Lastly, lastly, Miss Betty, the reason why the ego is in danger is because they're loyal. It's gonna get quiet through him right now. Uh, can I say that again? The reason why they want to kill the ego is because the ego is loyal. The reason why many of y'all sitting there looking at me like a bum on a log and can't say amen because you two faced it. Come on here, somebody. Uh oh, come on here, somebody. The reason why some of y'all can't clap right now because you say one thing on Sunday, but you say another thing on Monday. You preach another thing on Tuesday, but you talk about your neighbor on Wednesday. You worship with somebody on Thursday, but you stab them in the back on Friday. Got two things
I'm trying to leave it just like this. But check it one thing about an eagle. A eagle is not fearless. An eagle is a big strong bird. And an eagle has the mentality that I can take care of mine. I wish I had some help in here. I feel myself going there. Um, you got to understand that an eagle is so loyal, Deacon Granville, that an eagle will jump in a fight that ain't got nothing to do with him. Okay, y'all, y'all, do I have any eagle people up in here? Somebody do me a favor and just look at your neighbor. Somebody look at your neighbor on the road and say, neighbor, oh, y'all don't want to talk to me. Get by your neighbor that'll talk to you and say, neighbor, I feel like preaching just about 30 seconds. Can y'all give me 30 seconds in here just to preach it out of my system? Somebody look at your neighbor and say, neighbor,
and he's going to understand what they're doing. Today is a good day. To say, I fought this fight by myself long enough. I'm ready. I may not have it all together. I may not know everything that I need to know. But I'm ready to give it a try. Mama Joy, I, 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 I may not be as sharp as other people. But I'm willing to hook up with some people that I'm going to sharpen eyes. I'm Today is a good day to say, for God, I'm going to live. For God, I, 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 I gotta die. I gotta die for God. I gotta, I gotta do it, Chuck. I gotta do it, man. I gotta do it. Because can I talk to somebody? Can I talk to somebody? I, I, I'm here now. I gotta stay here. If you stop now, you just signed your death certificate. Gotta give him everything that you got. And one thing I need you to be happy about today. Many of us have been through some tumultuous situations. Talking about 10 of you right now. And the situation that you've been through, it wasn't going to kill you, but it was going to make you go crazy. But I want to show you something. Because God had his hands on you. What looked like was the end of you was only the beginning of you. What looked like was going to take you out really only brought you in. You got so much 